Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's Things for Making Thursday, and I think I'm going to edit this just enough to put the little thing in, maybe add a picture or something. I don't know, because I really don't feel like doing this today, but I've committed to myself to do this video. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Durkle. I, I just really do. Uh, Herkle durkling apparently is a Scottish word for kind of where you just lay around after you're supposed to be awake or whatever. I just want Herkle Durkle. I'm blaming my daughter because she's in a Herkle Durkle mood. So, yeah. Um, it's Things We're Making Thursday. And I finished the slippers yesterday. So today's February 1st. January 31st was the end of January, January theme with slippers, and I finished. So I have my Tinkerbell slippers here, both of them, and I'll probably put the picture in of them on my feet. So I did, I finished those, and we have plans for slippers for other people in the family. So we'll see when I get going on those. Um, it is February. February is blankets. I have a, I guess you'd call it a triple duty, uh, kind of thing going on. So many of you know, I have been working on this round blanket for, um, it was a mystery crochet along last year and I got to August, finished August and went, I have way too much Christmas going on. So I didn't finish it. I did finish the January clue last month. My so because it's a blanket, I figure it is a part of the blankets for you know this month. So I have started the um, tenth clue. It's really pretty blue. I don't know how. I don't think it's coming up here. So that is one of the things I'm working on this month. But that's also what I'm doing for the mystery yarn challenge that Lori the Armchair Chef has. And that is what I'm doing for things. Like one of the things. We're, so it's the things we're making Thursday. It's mystery yarn challenge. And it's just finishing up this whip that I've had for a while. From last year's cow. Kind of what it is. Then I have this yarn here. This is a Karen Simply Soft. And um, what is the color? Does it say? I just call it kind of rusty orange. It's called pumpkin. So it's pumpkin colored. Um, and I am casting on today a blanket that I'm going to be sending to Boggy Creek next fall. And um, it's a stitch sampler kind of blanket called Anthology. Anthology and so I'm casting that on today. Today I start with the sand stitch. I don't know how long each of the squares, the squares I think are gonna be like six six inch squares. We'll see because I'm also not doing a gauge swatch. I'm just gonna cast on. I have these needles. I hate my wooden needles. Like they're just cheap anyway, but also like I prefer the smoothness of my metal needles, but I don't have the right size. So I'm just gonna do this um, and use them to knit the blanket. Unless I really hate it, then I'll see if I can figure something else out. But I'm gonna knit all the squares. How I don't know how far I'll get on the blanket this month, but that's my goal. So I'm gonna. That's my. Those are my things that I'm doing. This little cute little blanket, and starting with rust pumpkin color. Apparently it's a pumpkin. To me it's a burnt orange, but anywho, that's kind of it for today. Um, I'm really excited to go see what other people are doing. Um, I know that Shannon of Another Yarn, I've already watched her video. I already knew she was going to be doing this big huge long blanket. I'm really excited to see it in the progress and it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous blanket. So I'm going to go see what other people are making. Anyway, remember to let your light shine through your creations. I got a creation right here. Whatever they be, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.